Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have an update for the Iron Team Master series again, and we made it out of silver, so now we're gold. Sadly, as we keep going, the MMR does go higher and higher above the account, so basically all the bronze games ended up being like high bronze, like and then some silver, and then all the silver games ended up being like pretty much gold already, and then all the games in gold now are pretty much plat already so what i end up playing against now is like plat players right which is um <clears throat> a bit awkward because then i don't know if i should title the video based on um based on the current rank of the account or based on the current mmr that's being played in but i've uh until now opted into the accounts rank so we're going for the accounts rank <clears throat> so as we played through silver we were mostly playing through some like high silver games and some gold games so keep that in mind um but we haven't lost yet and we're still chilling um the main difference between playing through silver compared to bronze so in bronze we were playing against like bronze and silver and now we're playing against silver and gold the main real difference was that um people started to like clear a bit better people started to make like more coherent choices and uh, people started to like kind of lane a bit better oftentimes communicate like demand like objectives more and so on right um but objectives are sometimes just bait so we ignore that for the most part um we don't really need that we're focusing on invading and building ourselves as a carry so we're trying to make ourselves have a huge lead rather than objectives so we do sometimes do objectives um as we did not do them at all before. Now we do sometimes do them, like if we need a dragon, we do it. Um, if we need some gold, we do a herald and so on. Okay, and what else are we doing here? Well, we're still sticking to the full clear, but um, now we're kind of like playing for lanes sometimes. So sometimes we don't really get to play for invading. For example, enemy has a TF or enemy has like this combo, like Udyr Zerat or something, where the Zerat will just ult me and like I can get like stunned and it's a question, like can I always like once I do Udyr? Who knows, right? So we're gonna like look at this game and see like uh let's say an average game in like the Sila. <clears throat> so we started with like a clear. We don't need to watch me clear on every video, there's really no need. Um, and okay, so after a full clear, we end up in topside. And basically, all the laners are missing. And now, the a big difference here is like, if all the laners go missing in like bronze or something, you're just like, eh, whatever, right? But if all the laners go missing in like gold, then you're kind of thinking like, ah, maybe they're like invading me, right? That's like a first difference. So you do have to like kind of keep paying attention to that. Maybe they're moving for their jungler, maybe they're invading you themselves, and so on. And the higher elo you go, the more common it is that stuff like that happens. So here, this is already voided apparently. So we're just like, ah, shit, I guess. So yeah. we tried to play for the scuttle, but I used the stuff and I tried to get it, I got it. Not too worried about it, but then this guy does like 10k damage and I'm like, shit. I'm like, okay, whatever. Here I'm kind of fine with this, kind of not. I'm not really happy with having traded my flash. I would have preferred to just cast my W on the Udyr and then like zone him off and then got in the scuttle. But I really didn't want to lose this scuttle and this scuttle because playing against these champions where I'm not really going to be able to kill much early on um, while playing against like double scuttle, so I have no vision top side or bot side and then behind an Udyr does not sound like a fun time. So I was like, whatever, I guess. At least I get a scuttle or maybe even two. So Lux is like zoning the Udyr off, and I end up even getting two Scuttles, I think? Maybe not, though. I'm not sure if I get the second one. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I get the second Scuttle. The Udyr is like still chasing, but he's like too low HP. The Zerat is like helping him, though, right? So a lot of stuff like this starts to happen where people do actually like move on time. So now it's like fights of multiple players, right? And like, for example, here my support even moves, right? So, yeah, but people still grief and just die for no reason. So, okay, now we have like a slight lead, um, not even slightly, like a pretty decent lead. And we want like same items as usual, like obviously like after getting a lead, we're like full clear, right? And we're doing the same plan as usual, right? Um, the plan is basically something like this. Um, 
Okay, something like this. So we're like, we'll clear every game, look for play, side, mid, fight the enemy jungle, scuttle or double scuttle, base or clear, and then base or clear, whatever, either way, like, we do both, but just which one is first. Um, then second buff spawns, we try to get level 6, and we invade or play, then we clear, then we look for play with ult again, and so on. And just like rinse and repeat. So now, what what's uh, on the plan? Well, we're trying to get level 6, our camps aren't up yet, so we try to do something else. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So, we're just like looking. Maybe we can go for scuttle, but it seems really difficult. I was really worried about this, I was like, eh, I might die. Then I see this kind of like, shit. But then um, I thought to myself, well, now that my teammates are like moving and his teammates aren't like here yet, I can actually play this, you know? Like, I have like really good items and this guy's actually moving, so I'm like, okay, maybe, you know? Can't play. Like, if you look at Udyr's items, like, Udyr has a long sword and a dagger, while I have Sorks, Dark Seal, and an Amptom, which is a pretty big gap. So as you can see, that big gap gets kind of uh, well represented here. But sadly, I missed his Q and then he doesn't die. I'm not sh I don't think he would die anyway because he got his W in time. Then we're just like fighting. Somehow Lux died. I think she died. It's, I don't know. She died 1v1 with Zerat somehow. Yeah, she died 1v1 with Zerat. I don't know how. But it happens. Yeah, then we're like fighting and stuff like this starts to happen. Like sometimes I'm just forced to take like skirmishes, you know. I mean, I could also try to avoid every skirmish, but um, some games are going to be lost if I avoid every skirmish. That's the only real issue. But as I said, people still like grief a lot and just give you like free kills, so you end up like getting away. Um, like free flash, I don't know, whatever. And then after you get the lead, you just again, same thing as usual. The only real difference is the content between the clears, right? The clears themselves are pretty much the same. Like, Nothing really changed in terms of like what we can do with a lead. Nothing really changed in terms of like what champions we can kill or whatever. Nothing really changed in terms of like do we clear, do we not clear, how do we clear, right? The main difference is literally just like how do we um, acquire this lead, right? And like how is um, how is the play going to go through, right? Like sometimes stuff like this happens, right? Like this would never happen before, pretty much. So yeah, pretty interesting. And um, how do I say this? Like in some games, the clear uh, the way that we got a lead was like same as before. You know, like sometimes the enemy jungler would just like die at uh, at minute three or whatever. The game would just be out to one. But this is like one of those games. It's a that is um, it's kind of like a kind of typical game that I had like one of the types of typical games but um it's a different game which you wouldn't really have in like bronze silver and iron and whatever so we do this herald so that we can get closer to our mythic but we can't really get to mythic unless we kill something so just trying to base because it's kind of hard to kill anything at the moment but yeah don't really know what to buy. I'm just like thinking about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll buy like AP and Magi and go play. And now we just a like gank, right? And um, the idea here is same as usual. This is why I really love pink wards, by the way. Some people think that the reason I like pink wards is I, I place them for vision or something. No, I left them for this. Like enemy walks into a bush. I can't ward the bush because I have fucking Herald or I don't have my trinket. Well, Pink ward is always there, and they can't even pink ward against like whatever vision I do use. So I'm guaranteed to get the vision right, which is pretty nice. Then okay, we're like doing some fighting. Okay, we still have bolt, whatever. We can keep fighting. Cool. Like this guy leaves his earth alone, so we fight. This guy takes the kill somehow. That guy loves lasted and kills, but not being useful sadly. This guy also loves taking kills, but not being useful. So, pretty cool. So yeah, we actually do do dragons sometimes at this point. Mostly because I don't really want to play against like... Dragon, soul point, 
Udyr at like 25 minutes because this is one of those games where it could happen because it's not a very good comp for me. Like my comp is useless, right? Like every champ in my team is like not useful for Evelyn to play with. So yeah. Okay, so this guy like walks up, we kill it, cool. So we have like a pretty big lead now, right? We also herald to get some plates and suddenly we have like Magi's with uh, Rocket Belt, right? Now we just like keep abusing our lead as much as we can, like just clear everything, kill laners, clear everything, invade enemy jungle, right? Like keep trying to kill laners, keep trying to kill people, you know? Like whenever people walk up, you kill them. Whenever they don't walk up, you take enemy jungle camps, you invade enemy jungler and so on. So you just kill everything you can. And suddenly like your kills go like, I don't know, like wait. Go from like six at like four, like oh, I've, okay, six at five at uh, fifteen minutes, right? Your kills suddenly go to like twelve at seventeen minutes, so you suddenly just get seven kills in like two minutes, you know? You just like run around the map when you get your big power spike, right? So that's what you play for. You play for power spike, right? Rocket belt, match ice, power spike. You buy a full Rabadons, huge power spike. Go fight again. Go fight, you know, but. This ended up like almost being bad. Um, I agreed to this, but this was just badly played by me. Um, but like, oh wait, I wanted to show this. Like, look, you get your big power spike, and this is suddenly what you do. You know, like none of these are execute range. This is just like what I delete by just existing. You know, that's pretty nice. And yeah, then just keep fighting, whatever. Sometimes you die, happens, whatever. Big Baron, if you want to end the game. Try to get level 16, another plan, right? Whatever, stuff happens. Very unfun game. And at some point you're level 16, and you have like your core items, right? Like all of your damage items. And suddenly, even though this guy's like fed, you can just delete him, right? Like, if I didn't have my ADC here, I would just kill him with my ult. So then you're too big to deal with and you win the game. Now I wanna like show maybe like a second uh a second uh a second game, but I'm So I guess we do dragon. Trying to figure out. I don't think it's this one. Uh gee, is it? Wait, let me check. I need to figure out which game it is. Wait, this is against uh, Silas. No, that's not the right one. I have to like figure out which one it is. Sorry, I didn't look into it. I didn't plan to do it. Um. Okay, I guess. I nah. This is a game I couldn't invade. There was like an interesting game I had. Oh yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> so this one is like pretty much the same thing as the low relo games. Okay, here I got like mega unlucky. Okay, we just like full clear, then we look for a play, right? Like same thing as the bronze, iron, whatever games, right? But then here, like look look at this. Bam. My Qs just go like on different people. So they both end up 1 HP, but neither dies. Cringe. If they all went on zero, he would die. CBA. CBA. Okay, clear again, right? Almost six. Just look for a play. We have to be patient here because even though this guy like suicides literally, I'm not gonna go in. Because I'm just waiting for my teammate to come so I can kill the Draven. Because if I die to the Draven, that's just bad, you know? Like, look, he lost 250 gold worth of adoration stacks. If I just, like, go in and greet for a kill, I can just give him that. And it's just meh, bad, you know? But okay, we got level 6, and now suddenly we just start, like, perma-invading him. We, like, camp the enemy bot lane behind tower and kill that. Or, well, the enemy Draven, like, just dies, you know? Um... Clear a bit, and then just start invading, you know, like, look for invades. I even misplayed this, like, he sadly lived. I thought if I get, like, one more Q, he would die, but he actually didn't die. He lived on 6 HP, but he ended up dying in the end, but this was not good. Actually, wait, I was curious if I had ult in this situation. No, I didn't, okay. And then, just keep invading, you know, like, this game, I don't have an issue, right, like, I don't have the same issue where, ah, it's ooh dear, ah, my laners are so useless, ah, like, Zerat can, like, ult me from across the screen and so on. 
like, no, it's Kane and I'll just invade him 20 times, you know? Like, take all of his camps, take this. Again, camp is camps. There's a reason they're called camps, because you camp them. Camp is camps. Do my camps. 10k gold, 10k money, cast money stacks, kill them, take all his camps, game is over, you know? Like, it, it's just like the classic story that we talked about where this is just literally a classic game. We get like a slight lead and then we transition that into a faster level 6, keep invading, taking all of his camps, killing him and so on. As long as you can figure out how to like lock down the champions. So for Kane, for example, you need to make sure that his E is down, you need to make sure that his Q is maybe used. It could need to be used, but you can usually get away with Kane Q still being up. But honestly, it's not hard to like see him like use it on a camp and then just go in, you know. So for Kane, it's like that. For other champs, it can be different, right? But then sometimes at this point, I couldn't really perma invade, right? Like not every game is a perma invade game anymore, unless you get like 20 kills stonks. And um, even then, it's not always worth. Like for example, I played against Ash TF Pantheon, right? Like that was the one of the last three plays I opened, wait, I think it was this one. Might have been. Yeah, this. Like, if you're against Ash, TF, Pantheon, it's just like, how are you invading? Like, okay, you're invading, and then what? Like, this happens to you. This. You want this to happen to you. Suddenly a TF appears on top of you. You want that? Not really, right? So when TF ult is up, and like, you're gonna get TF ulted, Ash ulted, and so on, it's just not worth it, right? So yeah, the adaptation mainly was just figuring out that in some games it's better to just play for lanes at this point and try to bully laners, especially because maybe the laners are preventing you from invading. Basically, the relationship between lane, uh, well, ganking and invading is kind of like the safer the laners play and the less like they try to help their jungler, the more you invade, the more the laners try to help their jungler and play like aggro and like push up and whatever else the more you gank that's usually generally the idea because if uh, the laners try to play up then they're actually protecting the jungler and he he can't be invaded this season and stuff like that so then you start pulling them until they cry jungler please help us and then they play safe and then the jungler gets bullied you know so yeah okay that should give you a general overview of how the silver rank went with the gold MMR, and next time should be how gold rank went when we're plat. Hopefully, still without losses. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe. And if you want to see all of the games themselves, then you can check out my Twitch or my Patreon or whatever. And if you want free coaching, you can join my Discord. Either way, uh, I'll see you next time. So, peace.